Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a very cute short sleeve summer cardigan. I have three written patterns, include women sizes, extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use Alice Bella. This is 100% cotton yarn. Number two, spot weight yarn. In each ball, it has 180 meter or 197 yards. For size small, I use five balls. This one in color black. If you want to substitute yarn, just look for number two spot weight yarn and please check the gauge before you start. And I use three millimeter crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, and four stitch markers. Before we start, I want to talk about this summer cardigan pattern a little bit. For this pattern, we're going to make in five separate pieces and sew them together. So I have one back panel. Two front panels make exactly the same and two sleeve panels make exactly the same. Let's start with the back panel. For the back panel, we're gonna chain this way. The chain that we make gonna be the width across and in the row that we make gonna be the length. Okay, we're gonna work from the bottom up. After we're done with the chain, we're gonna crochet back and forth in one piece this way. And at the end, I'm gonna cut the yarn. For the front panels, I'm gonna make the chain this way, work from the bottom up again, the row that we make gonna be the length. So yeah, chain this way and then crochet back and forth until the end and then cut the yarn and leave a long tail. Very easy. And for the sleeve, the chain that we make gonna be the circumference of the sleeve and the row that we make gonna be the length. For the sleeve, I decided to be like a wide, loose fit, but short sleeve, okay? And the measurement for size small, which is the one that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, it is 22.4 inches body width a cloth, and then 17.26 inches long. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the back panel first. For the back and two front panels, we're gonna use a drunken granny stitch. For the drunken granny stitch is in a multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. If you don't know what is a multiple of 5 plus 4, so you're gonna make a group of 5 chains, 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chain. And at the end, you're gonna add 4 more chains, okay? If you want smaller, you make less chain, and if you want bigger, you can make more chain. But just make sure that in a multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. Alright, first make slip knot and then insert the hook in that loop and I'm gonna make 144 chains. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I have 144 chains. Row 1 is gonna be the right side for an odd number row gonna be the right side. I'm gonna skip the first five chains. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. And then into the next chain, I'm gonna make a drunken granny stitch. For a drunken granny stitch, you're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and one double crochet, all into the same stitch. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the first five chain here, and then insert the hook into that next chain and then yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That is the double crochet. So we need three double crochet. Here's one, here's two, three, and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same stitch, same chain. 
So all that is count as one drunken granny stitch. And next, I'm gonna skip four chains. And then into the next chain, I'm gonna make a drunken granny stitch. Yes, one, two, three, four. Next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch. So we start with three double crochet. Here's one, two, three, and then chain two. One more double crochet into the same chain. And then we're gonna keep repeating this until we have three chain left at the end. So I skip four chains. One, two, three, four. Into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet. Here's one, two, three, and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same chain. And then repeat, skip four chains, one, two, three, and four. Into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. Start with three double crochet. Here's one, two, three, and then chain two, one more double crochet into the same chain. Oops. Okay. See, so far I have four drunken granny stitches. All right, you're gonna skip four chains and then into the next chain, you're gonna make a drunken granny stitch. Keep repeating that until you have three chain left at the end and I will be back. Now I have three chain left. Next, I'm gonna skip the next two chain and then into the next chain which is the last chain i'm gonna make one double crochet so i yarn over my hook insert the hook into the last chain there yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet at the end of row one i have a total of 28 drunken granny stitches for row two chain three and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and the first three chains always count as one double crochet and then into that chain two space we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch again we start with three double crochet here's one two here's two and three chain two and make one more double crochet into the same space. We're gonna make one drunken granny stitch into each chain space across. Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet. And then chain two, one more double crochet into the same space. Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet. And then chain two, one more double crochet into the same space. All right, keep making one drunken granny stitch into each chain space across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two and after I make the last drunken granny stitch, I gonna end the row with one double crochet into the fifth chain that we skipped at the beginning of the row one, okay? So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into that fifth chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here's what it looks like at the end of row two. And I have the same 28 drunken granny stitches across row three, chain three. Always count as one double crochet and then turn. And we're gonna make 
one drunken granny stitch into each chain space across. We start with three double crochet. And then chain two. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. You probably know how to make the drunken granny stitch by now, right? Okay, so next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space. Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. Start with three double crochet and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same space. All right, keep repeating this into each chain space across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row three. After I make the last drunken granny stitch, I'm gonna make one double crochet into the third chain here to end the row. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain and make a double crochet like that. And I have the same 28 drunken granny stitches across. And for row four to row 41, I gonna repeat row three, exactly the same. And every row I gonna have the same amount of these stitches, which is 28 drunken granny stitches. If you want shorter, make less row. If you want longer, make more row very easy and i'm gonna show you a little bit on row four just repeat row three we chain three and turn and then we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch into each chain space across first space here make a drunken granny stitch we start with three double crochet and then chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same space. Oops. Okay, next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet. And then chain two, and make one more double crochet into the same space, like that. Just keep repeating row three. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row three until I have 41 rows and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 41 here and here's what it looks like. And next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. And then put the yarn out. And I'm done with the back panel. And next, we're gonna make the front panels. For the front panel, we're gonna make two exactly the same and I already made one piece here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make another piece. Okay, first make slip knot and make 54 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 54 chain here. Row one is gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. Basically, we're gonna make the same pattern as the back panel, but we just make less chain, that's it, okay? So yeah, we're gonna skip the first five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. And then into the next chain, we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch. Again, for the drunken granny stitch, we're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and one double crochet, all into the same space. So here's the first double crochet. Two, and three. And then chain two, and then make one more double crochet into the same space. And then skip four chains. One, two, three, four into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch. So we start with three double crochet. And 
and then chain two make one more double crochet into the same chain okay we're gonna keep repeating this until we have three chain left at the end skip four chains one two three four into the next chain make a drunken granny stitch so we start with three double crochet and then chain two one more double crochet into the same space same stitch okay i show you one more time skip four chains one two three four into the next chain make a drunken granny stitch start with three double crochet and then chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same stitch all right keep repeating this until you have three chain left now i have three chain left i'm gonna skip the next two chain and then into the next chain which is the last chain i'm gonna make one double crochet right here at the end of row one i have 10 drunken granny stitches across row 2 chain 3 count as one double crochet and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and into each chain space we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch again for the drunken granny stitch we're gonna start with three double crochet here's one two three and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same space next space here make a drunken granny stitch we start with three double crochet and then chain two and then one more double crochet into the same space Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space. All right, keep repeating this into each chain space across. I'm at the end of row two and after I make the last drunken granny stitch into the last chain space, and to end the row, I'm gonna make one double crochet into the fifth chain that we skip at the beginning of row one, right here. And I have the same, 10 drunken granny stitches across, row three, chain three, and turn. And then into each chain space, I'm gonna make one drunken granny stitch. Again, we start with three double crochet. Oops, sorry. Chain two. Make one more double crochet into the same space. And then drunken granny stitch into the next chain space. So we start with three double crochet. Chain two. One more double crochet into the same space. Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. Start with three double crochet. Chain two. One more double crochet into the same space. All right, keep repeating this across and I will be back. I'm at the end of row three here. And to end the row, I'm gonna make one double crochet into the third chain. And I have the same, 10 drunken granny stitches across. And for row four to row 41, I'm gonna repeat row three. 
and every row I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches which is 10 drunken granny stitches and whatever the amount of row that you make for your back panel make sure the front panels you're gonna have the same amount of row all right I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 4 so we repeat row 3 we chain 3 and turn and we're gonna make one drunken granny stitch into each chain space across we start with three double crochet and in chain two one more double crochet into the same space next space here make a drunken granny stitch we start with three double crochet and in chain two one more double crochet into the same space Alright, this is a very easy pattern. I'm gonna keep repeating row 3 until I reach the end of row 41 and I will be back. I'm at the end of row 41 here. Next, you're gonna cut the yarn and leave a long tail. I leave about 16 to 18 inches long tail. And then after that, pull the yarn out. And we're gonna use this tail to sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make the sleeve. For the sleeve, we're gonna make two exactly the same. And the chain when we start is gonna be the circumference of the sleeve, and then the row that we make gonna be the length. And as you can see here, I don't make like a long sleeve, but if you like, you can do that very easy. First, make slip knot. And then make 92 chains loosely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now I have 92 chains. Row 1 is gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. I'm gonna skip the first 4 chains. Here's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Into the next chain, I'm gonna make a treble crochet. For a treble crochet, you're gonna yarn over hook twice and then insert the hook into that chain. And I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is treble crochet. Okay, and the first four chain that we skip is count as one treble crochet. So, next we're gonna make one treble crochet into each chain across. So we yarn over hook twice, insert the hook into the next stitch. Again, I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And repeat yarn over hook twice and make a treble crochet into the next chain. Okay, treble crochet into the next chain. Treble crochet into the next chain. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating this across. I'm at the end of row one and I have a total of 89 stitches across, includes the first four chain that we skip. Okay, row two, we chain four. And that is count as one treble crochet and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and we're gonna make one treble crochet into each chain across so I yarn over hook twice insert the hook into next stitch here yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops okay treble crochet into the next stitch Treble crochet into the next stitch. Treble crochet 
double crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep repeating this across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two, but I haven't made the last treble crochet yet. For the last treble crochet, we're gonna make into the fourth chain. Be careful, that is very easy to miss, okay? So, yarn over hook twice, insert the hook into that fourth chain. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two. At the end of row two, I have the same. 89 stitches across. For row 3 to row 13, I'm gonna repeat row 2. And every row, I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches, which is 89 stitches. And if you want a shorter sleeve, make less row. If you want longer sleeve, make more row. Just repeat row 2. I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 3. Just repeat row 2. We chain 4. Count as one treble crochet and turn. And we're gonna make one treble crochet into each stitch across. Yarn over hook twice, insert the hook into the next stitch here, and make a treble crochet. Treble crochet into the next stitch. Treble crochet into next stitch. Oops, sorry. Treble crochet into the next stitch. All right. I'm going to keep repeating row 2 until I reach the end of row 13 and I will be back. And be careful, the last stitch you always going to make into the fourth chain. That is really easy to miss. Okay, <laughs> I will be back soon. Good luck. I'm at the end of row 13. Next, you're gonna cut the yarn and leave a long tail. I leave about 24 to 26 inches long. And then after that, you're gonna pull the yarn out. And I'm done with the sleeve. And now I have one back panel, two front panels, and two sleeves. I'm ready to sew everything together and I will show you how. Okay, next we're gonna sew the back and the front panels together at the shoulder seam. I already went ahead and sew one side here and I will show you how to sew on this side. Okay, first place all the panels, wrong side facing up, right side facing down. We're gonna sew on the wrong side. And I'm gonna use my tail that I left earlier to sew with my yarn needle and you can use any method you prefer. Let me zoom in real quick. On the front panel, I have 10 drunken granny stitches and then I count the back panel until I have 10 drunken granny stitches and I place the stitch marker. I will sew those stitches together. All right, make sure both sides is nice and even. I have my needle and then the yarn ready to go here. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the back panel there, which is the third chain. I insert into one loop only and then bring it up. And then I can insert into the first stitch on the front panel and then into the same stitch on the back panel there, just to lock the yarn, okay? Next stitch here on the front panel, back loop only. Next stitch there on the back panel, back loop only. And then bring it up. Next stitch here, which is the chain on the front panel. Next stitch there on the back panel, one loop only, back loop only, sorry. And then bring it up. And then you can use any method you prefer, totally up to you. Next stitch here, next stitch there, back loop only, and then bring it up. Next stitch here, next stitch there, back loop only, and then bring it up. All right, I'm just gonna keep sewing back and forth until I reach the stitch marker, which is 10 drunken granny stitches, and then I will be back. Let me show you what the right side looks like on this side that I already sew. So here the right side, 
Here's the wrong side. All right, I will be back soon. Okay, now I reach the stitch marker here, and next you just need to weave the end, and I will do that later. Both sides, you're gonna sew exactly the same. Next, I'm gonna show you how to sew the sleeve into the main panel. For the sleeve, I went ahead and sew one side here, and I will show you how to sew on this side. Before you sew, make sure to place all the panels, right side facing down, wrong side facing up. We're gonna sew on the wrong side, and I'm gonna use the tail that I left earlier with my yarn needle to sew. And again, you can use any method you prefer to sew. And here's what it looks like on the side that I already sew. It's beautiful. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way so easier to see. I wanna explain a little bit on how I place my stitch marker here. It's very easy. On the sleeve panel, I have 89 stitches. I place 44 stitches on the front panel and then I count 19 rows from the shoulder down on the front panel and I place my stitch marker there. So I gonna sew the 19 rows on the front panel and then 44 stitches on the sleeve panel together. Okay, and I do the same on the back panel. I count 19 rows from the shoulder down and then place the stitch marker and then I have 44 stitches on the sleeve and I'm gonna sew them together. And I have one stitch at the middle here on the sleeve panel. I place into the shoulder seam and I'm gonna sew that stitches together. Whatever you do, just make sure that it's nice and even on both sides. That's all important, okay? And then both sleeves sew the same. Okay, let's get sewing. I have my yarn needle ready to go. I'm gonna insert my yarn needle into that stitch that I placed my stitch marker. And then I'm gonna remove the stitch marker. And I'm gonna sew into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn. And then I go into the next stitch here on the sleeve and the next stitch here on the back panel. On the back and front panel, it's kinda difficult to see the normal stitches because we sew into the end of each row. You kinda check as you go. <laughs> just make sure that it's nice and even. That's all important. All right and use any method you prefer. Next stitch here on the sleeve and the next stitch there on the back panel. Bring it up. Next stitch here on the sleeve, next stitch there on the back panel. Next stitch here on the sleeve and the next stitch there on the back panel and bring it up. Next stitch here. I go into both loops on the sleeve panel here. And the next stitch there on the back panel. Bring it up. Next stitch here on the sleeve and the next stitch there on the back panel. And bring it up. All right, that's what I'm gonna sew back and forth until I reach the last stitch marker here. And here's what it looks like so far. This is on the wrong side, and here is on the right side. And yeah, I will be back soon. Okay, now I sew until I reach the last stitch marker, and next I'm gonna weave the end, and I'm gonna do that later. And both sides, you're gonna sew exactly the same, make sure that it's nice and even, okay? And after you have both sides sewn, I will show you how to sew the side seam and then the side sleeve. To sew the side seam, you need to fold your cardigan in half at the shoulder seam with the right side facing each other, the wrong side out because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. And I already went ahead and sew one side here. This is the wrong side. Okay, and I will show you how to sew on this side. 
cut a new strand of yarn I cut about 50 to 60 inches long make sure that you have enough tail to sew the side seam and then the side sleeve here and you can use any method you prefer to sew so I'm just gonna turn this side it's easier to see for the front and back panel it's a little difficult to see where is the stitches because we sew into the end of each row whatever you do just make sure that it's nice and lining up and even okay check as you go so I'm gonna insert my needle into the front corner here and then insert my needle at the corner of the back panel there and then bring it up again we sew on the wrong side leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later and then I move to the next stitch here on the front panel and the next stitch there on the back panel and pull it up and then next stitch here on the front panel and next stitch there on the back panel and pull it up next stitch here on the front panel and next stitch there on the back panel and pull it up next stitch here on the front next stitch there on the back pull it up this is what I'm gonna sew back and forth okay so yeah I'm gonna keep sewing all the way up until I reach the armpit and then after that I'm gonna continue sew the side of the sleeve all the way until the end here okay now I sew until I reach the end of the sleeve here and next I just need to weave the end and I will do that later Here's what it looks like. This is on the wrong side. And both sides sew exactly the same. Okay. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the right side here. So here's on the right side. Beautiful. And that's it for this cardigan. I hope you enjoy making it. If you did, Please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends and I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye!